Dr. James Bush III was the only Democrat in the Florida House of Representatives to vote yes. Wait, did I read this right? Yep. On Don't Say Gay Bill. A black Democrat from Miami. Research shows that he has ties to right-wing child indoctrination programs. Saved by the Bell headline number three. South Florida House Representative Dr. James Bush III is the only Democrat yes vote on Don't Say Gay. What do y'all think about Dr. Bush? Canceled. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it hurts my heart whenever I, whenever I see folks of color who are going against a part of my identity in any way, shape, or form, or even like a woman going against a part of my identity. Like, it hurts my soul. It hurts my heart. It hurts my soul. At the same time, I'm just going to point it out. End of the day, and y'all can hate me, y'all can like throw vodka at me. Right. <laughs> Thank you. But political parties as a whole are not a great thing because people like to play towards party, party lines to try to get reelected and things like that. And he's definitely going against the Democratic Party line. But at the same time, he's an individual person. He's going to go towards what his beliefs are instead of the greater good for everyone else. And excuse me, but if you are someone who was voted into office, excuse my language, but bitch, you work for me. Like you should be doing what is best in can my interest. Can I quote interest. you on that bitch, you work for me? Yes, you can. <laughs> so Bernie, I want to ask you really quickly, because we've talked about this at Queer News tonight. Not that you speak for all black people, I understand. But we reported 40% of black straight men um, uh, uh, support the LGBTQ community, half of what the national average is. And then if you're a black straight man with strong religious beliefs, it's half again. Only 20% mm. support even black LGBT. Why is that going on in that community? I can't give the number one answer to that. I will say in the black community, there is a lot, there are things like toxic masculinity, that idea that Anything that's seen as gay, even just like, you know, hugging, a male hugging another male. It's, oh, nah, y'all need to stop with that gay shit. Like, y'all need to get up off me with that. When it's like, that's not gay. That's showing you affection, compassion. Maybe you just lost a parent. Like, that happens in the community. But there's such a push to be like this strong black man and even like a strong black woman. And I'm not going to lie, the ties go into how folks of color have been treated historically in the United States. Like you have to be that strong man. Like in slavery times, like we were separated from our family. So there is this very strong idea of family, culture, community, and also faith in the black community. So when one is at any time, I'm gonna say not, I don't wanna say threatened, but that's the best word I can think of is threatened, then you gotta come out full force against it. Mm. And in the churches, you're taught that homosexuality is bad. I remember going to a church that was run by someone close to me and everything was all great. Like it's a non-denominational non-denomin non church. You can go there, dress however you are. Like you don't have to be, you know, like typical church lady with the little hat on and the whole little nine yards. And everything was fine until we get to, I think it was Lent, like the 40 days where you don't do things or you don't like do things that are tempting. And one of the things that is like, okay, you're gonna purge yourself of like the bad things in your life, is like you're gonna purge yourself of homosexuality. I literally stopped after that. I was like, hold up. I just got, I got saved and everything. And y'all just say like, you don't even want me here? I've done nothing. And at the same time, I'm sitting there like, you know how many gay people you got running your stuff? You got somebody that's running the church choir. You got somebody who's running the switchboards in the back. You got at least three other folks of color in here who are also queer. And you're saying you don't want none of us here? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. It's so many contradictions within the community. It's like, we want you, but then we don't want you. And there's this idea of this is the right way to be a man or a woman. And this is the only way that you can be. But then there's also the talk of we accept you. We love you. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm on my whole soapbox right now. It's just, it's, it's very annoying. But I think that we all have those contradictions within our own communities. Yeah, and because of those contradictions, we need more people to get up on their soapboxes. So <laughs> thank, thank you for yeah. that. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. 
Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ 